Hey guys, it's Melanie and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to teach you how to make this apron. I'll pop up some other pictures. This is from Anna Maria Horner's uh, Luminous Fabric Line. I'm obsessed with this plaid. Uh, great holiday present, great for this season. So let's just jump right in. I'm going to show you how to make it. All right guys, let's get going with our apron. You need one yard of fabric, at least 42 to 44 inches wide. That's a standard quilting cotton, so that should be easy to find. You need your coordinating thread, a point turner or a chopstick for turning our corners on our straps, some pins, basic sewing room supplies, scissors, rotary cutter, if you have any leftover cotton webbing from the casserole carrier, this would be a good option for the next strap. Of course, then you need your sewing machine, an iron, and an ironing board, and let's get going. So here's how we're going to cut our fabric. This is our selvage edge, and our selvage edge to our selvage edge is the width of our fabric. So in this case, it's about 44 inches. Okay, so make sure that you're laying it out this way. This direction is our yard cut, so this should be about 36 inches or so. You want to lay it out and then fold this side over. This right here should be your selvage edge. And you want this to measure 13 inches. Okay, so we wanna make sure that this is 13 inches. You want a little bit more than that because we're gonna to wanna to cut off our selvage. So you might wanna measure more like 13 and a half so that we can trim off our selvage. This selvage is actually nice and neat. You can hardly even see it, but a lot of selvages look like this. And so you'll want to trim that off, okay? Measure down 13 inches, make sure, or slightly larger, and then we will make our cuts. When you are making this cut, you do want to make sure that this remaining piece of fabric measures at least 15 inches because we're going to need to use these for this for our straps. So make sure that this is at least 15 inches, and then you can go ahead and get this trimmed. Here's my selvage edge. I just went ahead and folded my fabric up so that I can work with it all on my mat here. And then I'm going to measure 13 and a half inches and just make a cut real quick. So as a refresher to make sure you have a 90 degree angle, you want to line up the fold of your fabric going all the way across this line and then measure it on your mat at the 13 and a half inch mark. Then we will know this is a straight cut. So you can take this remaining piece and set that aside for now. Okay, so this is our folded piece. This is going to be the main body of our apron. Make sure that it is 13 inches at the fold. And then you can also make sure that your top and bottom are cut nicely. All right, now I have my straight cuts on my top and my bottom. And now I'm just going to trim my side so that I have an even 13 inches. If you need a refresher on cutting yardage, I will link a video that I have that goes through that in great detail. Okay, so now we need to take off the part that we need for our pocket. So take one of your ends, just keep it folded, that way you can work with it really easily. Line up the edge of your fabric and we need to cut eight inches off. You can see how I have it lined up here, eight inches, and we're gonna cut basically this entire bottom part off of the apron body for our pocket. So we can set that aside for now. We're going to make our angled line that goes down the sides of the apron. So our fold is over here on this side. Now we need to measure in five inches and place a pin just to mark it for us. One, two, three, four, five. You can use a ruler or your mat, whatever you have handy. And then we are going to measure 13 inches down this way and put another pin. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Now these are the measurements that I chose for myself. I'm fairly tall. I'm 5'9". And so um, if you are taller than me or shorter than me, um, you can adjust this measurement. You can take this and hold it up to you. So this will be the neck. So place that where you want the neck to be, and then you can place a pin where you want it to sit on your, on your hip or on your sides. Um, but this will be a good just kind of general uh, measurement. Line up your pins here and here, and then we're going to make a cut 
again, we have our fold. So this is the not this is the edge of our fabric and the fold is over here, okay? So now now that this is lined up, we can remove these pins and use our rotary blade and make this cut. Okay, now here's how the front of our apron is looking. Now we're gonna cut our straps from our remaining fabric. And here's just a quick rough drawing that I did to give you a visual. We're gonna need to cut three, three inch strip, three inch strip, so four three inch strips, one, two, three, four. And then we need two, two and a half inch strips for our neckline. So one, two and a half inch, another two and a half inch, and then you'll have just a tiny little strip left over. One, two, three, make sure you have a 90 degree angle here. There's number one, number two, number three, okay, there's our fourth three inch strip and then we need two, two and a half inch strips. two so just a tiny little bit left this is really utilizing our one yard of fabric we're going to use almost the entire thing next thing we're going to do is make our straps so this is our two and a half inch um, strip we need this to be 24 inches we're going to start at that you can make this an adjustment um, if you want it longer or shorter but we're going to start it there so the first thing we want to do is just lay them on top of one another and get a nice clean cut on the end Now measure 24 inches. I'm just gonna use the bottom of my mat here. Okay, here's my 24 inch mark. Line this line up with the bottom so you know you have a 90 degree angle. And make that cut. All right, now here we have our neck strap. Okay, so we're gonna get all of our straps set up and then we're gonna sit down at the sewing machine and we're gonna do these all at the same time. So there's our neck strap and then we need our two side straps okay like our ties but the first thing we need to do is just make sure that they're all the same length so you're going to need to trim these down these are going to measure just trim them down they're going to make them as long as you can so they because of the way we cut them they should be about a yard long about 36 inches okay so here are our three straps this is our neck strap and these are our side ties okay so it's hard to see on this fabric but you want to make sure that your right sides are together so your right sides are touching and then on all three of them and then we're going to go over to the sewing machine and we're going to sew all the way around leaving a few inch opening so that we can flip it right side out okay we're going to be using a quarter inch seam allowance so go ahead and sit at the sewing machine and do that for all three of these Now once your straps are all uh, right side out, so this should be the right side of your fabric, you want to give everything a nice good press.
Okay, now that all of our straps are pressed, we're gonna take them back over to the sewing machine and do our top stitch and then make sure that our openings all get closed up. Now the next thing we need to prepare is our pocket. So here's our piece that we cut off of our apron body. So it's folded over. We're going to keep it folded over. Make sure everything is nice and pressed. And what we're going to do is do something very similar to the straps. We're going to leave an opening at the bottom and we're going to sew all the way around at a quarter inch seam allowance and then turn it right side out. So the right sides need to be together. Okay. So we have the right sides touching each other, right sides facing. So this would be the wrong side of your fabric. And then we'll flip it out and press it and top stitch it just like we did for the straps. Okay, so here's my sample and this is what we're going to do. We're going to just do some two, two lines of top stitching along the top of the pocket for right now and then once we attach it to the body, we will finish going all the way around it. So for right now, decide which part you want to be the top of your pocket and we're going to put two stitches. You want to start with your the top of your apron and you're going to iron quarter of an inch and then you're going to turn and iron again and pin that into place. So here's our top and then you want to do your sides and the bottom last. Okay, so here's one of our sides and then I'll show you how the ironing goes here on this side. So you want to fold over a quarter of an inch and then fold over again. There's one quarter of an inch, and then again. And then you can place a few pins in place to keep it secure. So now let's do the other side. Okay, so now we have our top and our sides ironed and pinned, and now we can do our bottom of the apron. And I wanted to show you this part because if you would like to, you can make the bottom hem a little bit larger and do an additional stitch. Um, totally up to you. You mostly just want to make sure that the bottom is last so that then we can um, nice and neatly have these corners ironed and uh, stitched. Okay, now before we take this to the sewing machine, we are gonna attach our straps. That way we can sew this all in one fell swoop. So this is the neck strap. Now we're gonna pin the neck strap into place, but we're only gonna stitch one side of it because this way the other free side will be free and then you can adjust it to however it will fit you best. We're gonna attach side one, lining up the side of the strap with the edge of the neckline. And we're just gonna line it up with the rest of the seam. That way it'll be really easy to stitch it all in place. Now the side straps, we are going to pin this right at this little angled piece. And same thing, we're just gonna line up the bottom of our strap with that seam so we can see everything. Now do the other side. All right, now let's take it over to the sewing machine and we're just gonna sew right close to this folded edge.
tried it on or you have decided where you want your pocket, just double check with it off of your body to make sure that everything is lined up properly. And then let's head over to the sewing machine and we're gonna stitch down and across and up the side of our pocket and we're going to attach our strap. You can see here how much of my strap I'm gonna have left over. I'm just gonna leave it as a tail because it's all finished. So I'm just gonna leave it like this. If you by chance have a larger tail, um, then you might want to cut it and finish that edge. But um, probably for most of you, there's only going to be a slight adjustment here. All right guys, what did you think of that project? I hope that that felt really easy to follow, that you feel confident that you can tackle this project. If you make this apron or any of my other projects, uh, be sure to tag me on social media, on Instagram at Melanie K. Ham or on my Facebook page. That way I can see what you guys are doing and how you make this your own. I love to see that. If you have any questions, leave me a comment down below. Thank you for sharing this video with your friends and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.